Brainstorming and sharing ideas is the funnest part of the creative process. We decided to skip the boring part of actually making stuff and just do the fun part. I'm your host, Tom Walma. I'm Emmanuel Latuga. Uh, Ryan Brown. I'm Fat Steve. And this is Creativity Wasted. So there was one idea that my dad had. My dad had an invention. He had an idea for an ice boat, right? The idea was for a boat that didn't actually water, so somehow it was a boat that wasn't a boat. I feel like it wasn't a very good invention, right? <laughs> so um, it went on top of the ice, you're saying? Yeah. Like in the winter? Yeah. Yep. So it's like you could just, that's a sled. You could just use a sled or any number of other, like, huge waste of time. I mean, I could see the appeal, like, if you're going to go ice fishing. Like, I, I grew up, like, not on a lake, but, like, not far from a lake. And we'd have to, like, take walk down to the lake. And, like, if you had a motorized sled, um, I don't know. It's not the dumbest idea in the world. Uh, I mean, I don't see like, <laughs> it's something like lighter than a snowmobile. I feel like he just smoked a lot of weed when he came up with that one, and maybe maybe one or two joints less, he could have dialed that one in a bit. <laughs> but yeah, like if you want to go ice fishing, because it's almost never uh, with global warming and shit. It's almost never. The ice is almost never good enough to put the snowmobile on more than like a week or two in the winter. So maybe you need like a super light snowmobile with like a tiny little scooter motor type thing that, that weighs like 80 pounds. Uh, sort of is like a motorized sled. Huh. I don't think it would sound great, yeah. but it's not like insane crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Steph. Uh, your audio uh, fell out there. I think it's because my dying more. I'm in my car and my charger doesn't work that great in here. Um, I don't know. I, any other thoughts on the ice sled? <laughs> I actually had a neighbor. I lived uh, near Belleville for a while I actually, when I actually had a house. And he had a um, hovercraft. So if somebody got like... He was like a volunteer rescue person, so if somebody fell through the ice on Belleville Lake or Ford Lake, he would um, use the hovercraft out, out, out on the ice. Dude, those are cool. I've only seen those in racing games. Those are sick. <laughs> I, I saw it from a distance. I'd imagine it's definitely several thousand dollars. But yeah, a little ice sled with a little scooter motor. I don't know how it would grip the ground, like some sort of wide higher that you can push down onto the ground or something. <laughs> uh, Ryan just drove past me. <laughs> be funny I can only tell because I was timing the bumps. <laughs> <laughs> he just zooms into your camera. All right. Just go pull up and rob you. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you guys from Detroit? I'm the dangerous criminal compared to him. That's like, my, that's my, yeah, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> but uh, like that'll be the that'll be the thing. Like just go up and uh, rob motherfuckers trying to <laughs> trying to do podcast episode. <laughs> they never suspected. <laughs> Video. Never expect. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, the motorized sled thing. That's the, that's not my people's shit. So I don't really have a say. I feel like there's. Like, if you don't want to be alive anymore, there's easier ways to do it. That's how I look at it. <laughs> I used to do a joke. Uh, I had a friend whose wife was a raging alcoholic, and she would pass out. He would tell me stories about her passing out at family reunions, and he'd have to carry her, like, to the car. Uh, and I said that uh, my dad, when he hunted deer, he always kept a snow sled, so he would he would put the dead deer into this sled to like drag it through the woods to the vehicle. And I said he should get like a um, unconscious wife sled so he could just like, roll her off the couch into the sled and then drag her to the car. But uh, well. I don't remember the wording of the joke, but it never really worked. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, we can wrap it up. Uh, thanks for doing the podcast, you guys. Hey, thanks for having me, but. Any shows or podcasts or anything you want to plug? 
follow me on Instagram, guys. Emmanuel underscore Lechuga underscore comedy. That's the only plug I need. Thank you. Uh, just Brown Ryan comedy on social media. All one word, no spaces, no nothing. Did I see that you were headlining like the Comedy Castle or something? Uh, Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase, July 27th, oh. 28th. Yep. Cool. Congrats. Three shows, baby. Hey, good stuff, man. Good hey, stuff. Hey, thanks, man. man. Yep, yep. This has been a production of Planet Amp Podcast, powered by Pinecast. <laughs>